in the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later, he hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touching or anything, and I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story, and where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks, because the Me Too movement is so strong and so so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. This is a classic case of be careful what you wish for. There is too much information on what happens to good men, such as Johnny Depp, Hakimi, and the list goes on. Wise men learn from the mistakes of others. If you choose to date, get yourself a woman who can articulate herself so that you don't have to decode messages and signals and play these childish games. After you actually lose a good man, let me tell you the aftermath before you choose to lose this good man. You will try to find a man equivalent to the man you are with. And you will think that you could find better. But when you actually put yourself out there, you'll realize that there is no man left right now. And every man will try to use you for a certain thing. And you will look for that man that you left and other men. You will regret that man to the core because you'll realize that there is no good people out there and nobody loved you as much as that man loved you. And after that, you will try to go back to that good man, only to realize that that good man doesn't want you. And he actually found a good girl. If you have someone good in your life, cherish them. Don't think you could replace them. If you're going to get married to somebody and say, I do, there's going to be times where, you know, you guys don't see eye to eye. There's going to be times where you can't stand each other. There's going to be weeks, potentially months. You could have a bad year in a marriage, right? Are you going to stick it out and make it work? Are you going to seek counsel? Um, you know, if you're in the church, are you going to talk to your pastor? Are you going to do your due diligence in that situation to make it work? It's just unfortunate because we live in a time where modern women are celebrated right? Completely celebrated for leaving relationships, completely celebrated for leaving marriages, you know, society telling women that you are strong for leaving your family. You're strong for leaving your husband. You're strong for leaving your boyfriend. There's no strength in that, right? You quit. All right, guys. So I wanted to read a comment that caught my eye. It says, my ex-wife actually became best friends with my dad whatever that means i went on to become a multi-millionaire financially free retired and world traveler for the past eight years currently living in spain my oldest son who's 34 said she is depressed and i actually have no blank to give not holding any grudges but i have no regrets because i gave everything I found a beautiful woman who is extremely educated, appreciative, respectful, loyal, and she started a travel blog and has become extremely successful. Yes, what this woman is saying is absolutely the truth. There you have it. Karma is a b She gave up on her ex-husband because he wasn't where he is now. And it's unfortunate because I mean, this story happens far too often. Women bailing on their families, bailing on their ex-husbands, thinking that they can find something better. No, no, no. Hey, hey, man, Rasta man. Hey, yo, 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 that's enough. What's going, what's going? I do that. That's what's me. Going, that's my job, going? brother. You know, I'm, I'm that's just, my job, brother. Well, you know, I'm just doing my job, my friend. I know. Hey, get up, man. You know what I mean? Bye, you going, you going. No, nope. pull the rap. It comes, with, my the job, it comes with the thing. Yeah, it comes with the whole Man, give me some thing. of this, bro. I got this, bro. This is my job. I don't, I only do this. I only do this. Hey, come on, get up. Get up. Come on, what are you doing, lady? This how you doing it? What's wrong with it? He said that it comes with it. That's what everybody does when they come to No, I'm my friend. Come on, you see that he ain't have to smack it. You get one too. No, what man? I don't want no massage from him. Come on, I seen the slap. I get the rub. 
I'm on sure my friend. You want a girl to come and do it? Yeah. A girl can Can she wear that? Yeah. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We got let's pull this raft up. Let's pull this raft up. Can you help me, please? No, no, I got it. I got it. Help, please. Come on, man. This is why you he want to do the trip? The front part. He got the front part. I'll do the front part. I'll grab the clay. I'll rub you down. Yeah, See? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. No problem, man. You know it's a maker, man. We don't mean no harm, man. All right? I'm telling you, man, these Miami uh Jamaica trips. <laughs> and this is what she's doing in front of you. Could you imagine when you're not there? She belongs to the streets. When it comes to four-year-old Paris Morris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. Wow. Well, you were correct there. You are not Paris's biological father. Evil. Miss Thorpe, evil. you don't look surprised. Pure evil. The next result is for London. In the case of Morris versus Thorpe, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. Wow. Miss wow. Thorpe, somewhere inside of you, you knew Crazy. this was a very real possibility. I can see your reaction. Who is their father? The other guy I was talking to. Think about the bond that these children have developed with this man, calling him dad, for years and now that relationship is destroyed because she couldn't keep her legs closed and don't get me started with the child support and dragging his name through the mud one in three men who request a paternity test is not the father that's roughly 33 percent let that sink in my name's alicia i'm 31 um I'm a hairstylist. I've done a reality show. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I do fitness. Um, I have a child. I'm a mother. Um, How much money does he need to make a year? Um, he needs to make money. Like I prefer an entrepreneur, but if not, you know, somebody who knows, who is stable in their career. Let me just say that. Okay, how much is that? Huh? How much is that a year? <laughs> About six figures, you know, nice, nice little number. All right, so let's just pause right here. She's 31 years old. She's a single mother. She has a whole bunch of tattoos. Uh, she's a reality TV personnel. And she's looking for a guy making six figures. <laughs> Right off the bat, there's nothing here for me as a guy making six figures that would want to take on this responsibility. I think if she came in more realistic and said, hey, I know I'm not cream of the crop. I have a child, you know, I'll take on a guy making 50,000 a year and that's that. I'll be appreciative if someone could take on this responsibility um, and, and have some sort of normal life. I think if she came in from that perspective versus trying to get a guy that's in the top 10 percentile, because it seems like she's still delusional. It doesn't seem like she understands where she's at when it comes to the single dating market. A few moments later. Good. Your shirt at? Why you got no shirt on? Because I'm getting my weight up. You feel me? Huh? I'm getting my weight up. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, um, Alicia, uh, yeah, this ain't for you, baby girl. This ain't for you. You for the streets. You got a baby daddy. We don't want you. I'm sorry. We don't want you. I'm sorry. We it's don't okay. want you. Right here, we don't want you. I'm, I'm here to tell you we don't want you. We just here to troll you tonight. We as in gen mineral in general, we don't want you. If your baby daddy don't want you, what do you mean somebody else going to want you? I'm just being Why? honest with you. I mean, think about it. Think about yourself as a whole, as a woman, how you carry yourself. <laughs> How am I carrying myself? 
I don't need to tell you how you carry yourself. I said you think about it. You need to think about it. I don't need. To, I don't need to tell you. You know who you are. You show. You showing who you are. You know I mean? You're showing. You're showing who you are. It just. It is what it is. Just let it be. You showed uh, a few thousand people who you are. More thousands gonna see it. Wait, Cordero. You're not. You're not Cordero. for us. I'm Cordero, you heavy son. You, you big know, man. Why are you mad? Because it's black women like you that well, make no that no TV attempt. TV. Oh, I, said, I mean, I'm just saying, hey, but look, I didn't come in here to holler at you. I... He was mad. Yeah, was on there was like, nobody wants you for the streets, and he was ugly. Again, if she came in with a more realistic approach as to what she wanted in a man, I think that would be more palatable, so to speak. Um, but the fact that she is still entitled and still thinking about self in this situation i think it makes it very distasteful and you know when you have a child you have to put yourself second in that situation your primary um you know solution as a mother should be how can i have a good life for my child how can i find a potential father figure that i can work with to have the best outcome for my child. I think that's how she should be approaching this situation versus her viewing it as self because she's basically saying, I want a six figure guy. She's not mentioning anything to do with her child, what her child would want or what she can provide to a man that's going to assume this responsibility because that's what a man's doing in this situation. He is putting himself in the crossfires to take on the role of being a stepfather. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Go ahead and give me some feedback in the comment section below. And until next time.